It's a trip we all hate to make, going to the DMV and dealing with the lines and all the people. Now there's a new push to make changes. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi joins us now, and it's all about privatization. Well, yeah, you know, whether it's for your license plate or driver's license, a trip to the DMV can end up costing you a lot of time. But one lawmaker says he has the solution to get you in and out and back on the road. Waiting, waiting, waiting until your number is called. If you've stopped in the DMV lately, you know the feeling. Just a madhouse. Just every chair is full. I mean, it just took forever. So busy that new Colorado resident Jordan Hoffman left, then went to this branch a few days later. A Senate bill being introduced would fund a $200,000 study to look at privatizing some aspects of the DMV, like issuing and renewing driver's licenses, vehicle registration, and titles. As we all know, there's a lot of DMV officers around the state that are just overwhelmed with customers. And people have extremely long waits, so it just makes sense to look at this. After hearing nightmare stories, we wanted to see how long it would take. Fortunately for me, the office was a little slow, and I needed a new license. So I grabbed a ticket and got in line. It took me less than 30 minutes to get a new license. According to the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators, approximately half of the DMVs in the U.S. outsource some of their services to private entities. It could be a good idea, I guess, depending how much it costs, if, you know, if it actually is faster and if they don't just try to make more money off of it. And this is still in the early stages, so there are questions about the extent of privatization and a vendor. But first, this study needs to be completed. Now, also, the DMV is currently in the process of upgrading computer systems, and that is still scheduled as planned, and it will be completed in about a year or so. Um, but the lawmaker says that this will not affect that. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.